What's going on, you all? Today, we're teaching you how to stream your Quest 2 on Kick. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and sign up for a Kick account. You obviously do that, and then you're going to get into your actual settings. You would hit the sign up, then you're going to put all your information in here. Now, I already have all my information, so you just go ahead and create whatever you need. So now that you have your own profile, what you're going to have to do is go into your actual creator dashboard. You're going to see right here, you're going to go into settings, and then you want to go into your stream key. Now, you're not allowed to let anybody see any of this. So what you do right here with all of this is you're going to need to be able to copy and paste this into a streaming software you can use Streamlabs or you can use obs so let's go ahead and get into that so what you'll have to do is that you'll copy this stream key to your clipboard next you're going to open up your streaming software so first things first we set up the video 1920 by 1080 your frames all the way up to 60 that's the highest it can go because kick is in its beta phase now output is also very important so output very much changes within yours uh, you can go to bitrate up to 6,000 if your pc can't handle it uh, your encoder is if you have nvidia then you're gonna have an nvidia encoder i use amd so amd doesn't necessarily have a quote unquote dedicated so they utilize their actual just the x264 which is the software in there and then your output resolution you can actually change it to 1080 bit rate you can go i keep it lower and then i just test it later on like what i i don't have a very budget pc but i don't have a high-end pc also it's just right in the middle so you can go from here all the way to 6,000. i would say try it at least from 3,000 to 6,000. you see that sweet spot especially with virtual reality i keep it everything else i just keep it pretty much the same really much helps out with the default the the segment so there's a lot of things to add right now you see this right here you can see this this is my camera so you want to add yourself a webcam because it's always good for somebody to see you so in order to do that you would add your source you're going to add a video capture device a new source and you can call it like let's say like webcam i'll just call this a cami cam whenever you add it you add your source you're always just going to search for anything now obviously the webcam recorded on is not the actual camera i'm using uh this this right here you can see is a hd pro webcam 9 c920 i love the c920 by the way so you can see me right here now you can see how it enlarges everything so you can always size it to your liking obviously for my video i already have one over there and so i can just keep it like that right here i already kind of had it set up for you all so this is just the webcam that i'm using right now now next behind me you can notice behind me right here is going to be another source so a display capture so you always want to add the display capture It's a quest stream while you're casting then casting entails you to be able to connect to your quest 2 wirelessly to your pc without actually playing pc vr games so whatever is being shown on your quest 2 is going to show on your streaming software so that at that point you'll do a display capture all right next what we're going to do is we're going to set up our chat so let's go ahead and set up our chat because kick is still in beta so you have to do a little bit extra stuff so to set up the chat you're going to go back to your creator dashboard you're going to go to stream then you're going to type on the toggle and you're going to go to pop out chat so when you pop out chat you want to get that url right here and you're going to hit copy and then you're going to go back to streamlabs obs you want to go into your layout editor you put you get website they're going to add it uh enter a target url you're going to hit paste now when you save changes now you have your kick chat right up in here and you can see that right here now next we want to talk about a microphone now a microphone you can either do it through the sources you can do a microphone and you can just add yourself an audio type capture and so you can set it up right here and you just add it and you put onto the audio capture and you can select which type of device you do want depending on what you're connecting there's tons of microphones you can utilize if you're using an external microphone you can use a usb microphone if you're not too far away from your vr or if you're going to be sitting down playing vr you can use a usb if you're going to be standing up doing vr you can be like me at times i use a external microphone this kind of goes on to your quest too or if you want to keep it simple you can just just use the internal microphone from quest 2 which is very good also you set up your microphone you put that as an audio input and you're able to just go on with that so now we have everything set up make sure you sign up for that kick account set up your stream put in all the stream keys set up your webcam make sure everything's in place make sure display capture and game capture is ready to go last but not least now we're gonna cast quest 2 to the display capture so you can see what's going on and also we want to be able to capture that footage accordingly so let's go ahead and jump into that all right now that we're in the headset you're gonna go ahead and hit on this camera right here and then you want to go into cast after that you'll hit your computer all right now we have successfully casted the quest 2 to the display capture on the pc and now you can see in the streaming software in the small window over there you'll see that uh, all, everything is going good you can see me looking around in vr I have settings over here that you can utilize microphone and audio 
then you can also put it into a white screen aspect and right here you can see you can either use a usb microphone if you're going to be stationary in vr or if you're going to utilize the internal microphone on quest uh, if you're going to be moving around if you're like me i like to use the internal mic because i move around a lot and you could also use your own type of external microphone like this one now on display capture everything that you're doing so you'll see me exit now you can see you can see the software actually like really recording it now and so me showing you on the display you can see the software so what yours is going to look like in large is what that window looks like in the corner you can see it and then you'll be able to get larger and larger like right here i'll put up my webcam on top of it like half and half we'll put it half and half so you can see kind of like the demonstration of me recording show you all live in action and how your vision uh your version will look see right here i'm on the webcam you see on the webcam and you see me on my actual camera and you see everything that i'm looking at in my quest too and that is how you successfully all you have to do is hit go live hit go live right here and then after that you would just watch yourself and monitor everything on kick and that exactly how you stream on kick man with your quest too appreciate y'all leave us a thumbs up subscribe as it always means the world peace